In this video, we're diving into the different types of burns. Burns can be classified by degree, like first degree, second degree, third degree, or fourth degree, or you might hear them classified by thickness, like superficial thickness burns or full thickness burns. So I'm gonna break it all down for you here in this video so you can understand it, what the different types mean, and you'll be more prepared for your nursing school exams. Let's dive in. So like I said, you might hear burns classified by degree, like first degree or second degree burns, or you might hear them classified by thickness, like superficial thickness burns or full thickness burns. Now, both of these symptoms, symptoms, systems are generally the same, but there's a little bit of variation depending on what textbook or resource that you're using. So we'll categorize them both ways so you know which one is which, just in case your nursing school uses a degree or a thickness, you'll know both of them. Now, the specific signs and symptoms of burns will vary depending on the external event that caused the burn, like if it was a burn from a fire or or chemical or electricity and then the severity of the burn like if it only affected the epidermis of the skin or the deeper layers the deeper the burn and the larger the burn generally the worse it is first degree burns are considered superficial thickness burns and they only affect really the top layer of the skin the epidermis a mild sunburn is a really good example of a first degree or a superficial thickness burn it can cause slight inflammation and redness but no blisters. If you press on the skin, it will blanch. Then the patient will have a brisk capillary refill still since the blood supply isn't impaired. Now these types of burns are painful though, since the nerve endings are still intact, right? We know what a sunburn feels like, not so fun. And they'll generally heal in about three to six days. The next type of burn is a second degree burn, which is also called a partial thickness burn. These burns involve both the epidermis and the dermis and are very painful as the nerve endings are still present and active. Now, there are two main types of partial thickness burns, superficial partial thickness burns and deep partial thickness burns. With superficial partial thickness burns, only a little bit of the dermis layer is damaged, leading to blistering and it's blanchable redness and swelling. Now, since the dermis houses the blood vessels, when it's damaged, it leads to a reduced blood supply with these second degree burns. Then superficial partial thickness burns, they take a little longer to heal between seven and 21 days and they don't usually leave a scar. A sunburn that blisters is an example of a superficial partial thickness burn. With deep partial thickness burns, the burn goes deeper into the dermis and damages the blood vessels and the nerves and the tissues even further. Blisters may or may not appear since the skin is so damaged and thick and it sticks, it sticks to the under layers of the skin. And there will be some swelling with this type of burn too. And deep partial thickness burns may take three to six weeks to heal and these might leave a scar. Now the next type of burn is a third degree burn, also called a full thickness burn. With these types of burns, all the layers of the skin, the nerve endings, the sweat glands, and the hair follicles, they're all involved. These usually aren't as painful because those nerve endings are destroyed and the patient won't have much or any sensation because of the nerve damage but still not a fun burn. Now, full thickness burns take much longer to heal and the skin may not heal on its own. The patient may need skin grafting to help the healing process along. And the area might be black or yellow or dark red. It can be hard or stiff or leathery in texture as well. And the patient should still have pulses present, but if there's not, there may be too much swelling and inflammation in that area happening under the burn that's cutting off that blood supply. So some of the dead tissue may need to be removed in order to relieve that pressure and then help restore that blood flow. The doctor may do an escarotomy, which is a slit uh, that's cut deep in the burn to help release that pressure and the swelling on the blood vessels and the tissue underneath. This will help prevent or reverse compartment syndrome, which is where too much pressure builds up that it cuts off that blood flow. Now the last type of burn is a fourth degree burn, also called a deep full thickness burn. This is where all of the layers of the skin are involved as well as the muscle and the ligaments and the bone. There is zero pain and no sensation or feeling since all those nerves are destroyed. The skin is usually black with SCAR, which will need to be removed and replaced with a skin graft. 
These types of burns take many months to heal. Now remember, the deeper the burn, the more damage that occurs and the longer it takes to heal. And in this video here, I'm gonna walk you through the signs and the symptoms and the treatment for burns that you need to know about for your nursing school exams. And as always, my friend, go become the nurse that God created only you to be. And I will see you over there in that next video.